Hi there, welcome to my channel. This is where you'll find all my videos related to drawing and figure drawing. I'm Siobhan, I teach figure drawing and I'm putting together a video series about techniques and approaches to drawing from life. In this video, I want to explain what contour and blind contour drawing is all about. I want to tell you how to apply it and then also explain why it's such a powerful drawing technique. Plus, I also want to talk to you about what I think makes a good drawing versus a bad drawing, if in fact there is such a thing as a bad drawing, so stick around if you're interested. First of all, contours are really just edges, and a contour drawing is all about using your pencil to follow the edges on the object that you're looking at. So that could either be the outer edges of an object, or it could also be the inner edges within an object, or the edges between two objects. But the most important thing to know about contours is that a contour is not an outline. So even an outer edge of something needs to be thought of or considered uh, with the understanding that the form itself moves beyond that edge. So this orange here obviously doesn't end at the perceived edge, it continues around to the other side. This is better understood when you add inner contour lines that describe edges with inside the object. Okay, so inner contour lines are edges of shapes within the object or the thing that you're looking at. Let's say you have two oranges like this. A drawing that just does the outline is going to render it completely flat, but adding this inner contour line immediately distinguishes these two things as separate and it also immediately establishes space within the drawing. We know now that one of these oranges is in front of the other. And then there's a third type of contour line, and that's a cross contour. So this is a line that follows the contour of an object that's not necessarily a visible edge. It's an intuitive line, it follows like the angle or the direction of the thing that you're looking at. I often use a cross contour line to go from one side of something to the other. And when you use cross contours, you really have to follow the shape of the object. The key to making a contour drawing is to draw really, really slowly. And also to try and establish in your own mind that your pencil or your charcoal is actually connected to the spot that your eyes are looking at. This is a bit of a mind shift, but it helps you to really maintain that coordination between your hand and your eye. You have to try to keep your pencil moving along the edge of the thing you're looking at, at the exact same rate that your eye is moving. So yeah, it's a very slow drawing, and that in itself takes practice. We often try to rush through our drawings, but contour and blind, con blind contour um, require that you draw really, really slowly. So then what's a blind contour drawing? Well, in a blind contour drawing, you use the exact same techniques that I've been talking about, where you follow edges, inner contours, cross contours, and you draw really, really slowly. But blind contour drawing means that you don't look down at your drawing at all while you're in the process. You simply look at the object for the whole entire duration of your drawing. So that's very challenging to do. And as well as that, at the end, you will end up with a drawing that looks nothing like the thing that you're looking at. It's, it looks like a complete mess of lines. Um, there's no proportion, things don't join up at all. But blind contour drawing is the most immediate and the most direct way that I know of where you can switch into a pure drawing mode. So drawing mode is when your brain is not using logical or analytical processes to handle the drawing task. Instead, your brain is using responsive and intuitive processes. So another way to think of this is that you are looking at something when you're drawing blind, 
in a purely artistic way, you're not looking at it and analyzing something in terms of what you know about the object. You're simply seeing shapes and forms. And believe it or not, this is what helps you to make a better drawing. So finally, the last thing that I'll say about all of this is that very often beginner drawing students think that what makes a good drawing is whether or not the end product looks like the thing that they were trying to draw. But very often a blind contour drawing has more expression and beauty than a drawing that is actually just is more realistic. To my mind anyway, I think that through contour and blind contour drawing, you can understand that what makes a good drawing or a beautiful drawing is one that is beautifully observed. I hope you found this video useful. Leave a comment below, please, and let me know your thoughts on drawing blind. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video. Stay tuned for more drawing videos, and I hope to see you in the next one.